Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all having a great day today and we're all doing well. So in this video, we're going to be talking about some information that has actually came out overnight regarding some future changes that could be coming to Rainbow Six Siege. Before we do continue with this though, if you are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like rating if you do enjoy. So the information we're talking about in this video is actually coming from Twitter user Killer Tree. They have provided reliable Siege information for seasons upon seasons now. So obviously what they're saying isn't 100% confirmed and you should take it with a grain of salt, but just be aware that they do have a very accurate track record. So basically, last night, Killer Tree tweeted out saying, dead players will no longer have a body. Instead, you will see a transparent operator icon. This is an option that you can toggle. So basically what this means is that you will no longer have client side bodies in the game. I'm sure as we're all aware by now, if you die or anyone in the game dies, their body ragdolls and it just goes on the floor and sits there for the rest of the match. But when that person dies, the actual animation and the place where that body lands is completely different for every single player in that match. So for example, there could be a planted diffuser on the ground, someone gets shot and their body falls on top of that diffuser, then the diffuser is clipped inside of that body now of course that doesn't stop you from diffusing it doesn't stop the entire animation of diffusing it doesn't stop the mechanic of diffusing but if you have seconds on the clock and you're looking for that diffuser and you can't see it because someone's dead body is covering it up that's quite an unfair disadvantage considering on other people's screens that that dead body may not be covering up the diffuser so it would be all right i guess if it was you know reliable across the board and the body was in the same place for everyone but that's just not the case how it is in siege it's all client side same with debris as well so the way that the body goes is completely different for everyone this was best highlighted in a recent pro match with team empire and g2 i believe it was citizen and virtue were trying to get the diffuse off and uh, I believe it was Joystick, he was below. And basically what he was doing was playing below, uh, playing vertical and trying to stop them from defusing and win the game. Now he did go on to win the game, that was purely because of the time. He was in a perfect position for this play. They did not have enough time on the board to, you know, go downstairs and push him out. He was in a perfect position. All he had to do was get a kill and, you know, they wouldn't have been able to defuse. And as you can see, you may be thinking, you know, what is he shooting at? The guy is clearly there. On his screen, there was a body covering that entire hole, so he could not see where the person that defusing was. Now, luckily for him, they did win this purely because they didn't get the defuse off in time. But if they did manage to get that defuse off in time, that would have been so unfair because he played that perfectly. He played that as he was supposed to. The defuser was down and he was watching it in a great position. If he would have, you know, missed all those shots because he couldn't see where the person was, because of a client signed body, that would have been so unfair. Because as you see in the clip, Citizen actually pushes him so Virtue is safe to defuse. Now, if there wasn't the body there, Citizen wouldn't have made it down there to kill him. Obviously, because he would have already killed the guy that was on Diffuser, then Citizen himself would have not had enough time to go back up. So this entire thing was always in the hands of Joystick to win this. He had such a big advantage. And the fact that he almost lost this purely because a client side body was covering a hole which basically protected Virtue is something that really should not be happening at this level of play and this deep into the game. So as it seems what Killer Tree is saying, Ubisoft are going to be implementing a system where there's no longer going to be client side bodies, rather a little icon that comes up of that operator where their dead body is. Now it does say this is an option you can toggle, so I imagine if you still want to have client side bodies and you know, you're just a casual player, you don't care where the body goes, you still prefer it like for the realism when you kill someone, their body goes, that you can keep that on. But then again, if you want to go into like ranked and high ranked and stuff like that and you're tired of people, like, you know, hiding in dead bodies and you know dead bodies obstructing your view and stuff like that you can toggle it off so instead of a dead body being there it will just be a tiny little faint operator icon just to know yeah this is where this person died made a little mock-up image of how i think this will probably look it's nothing special you know it's not going to be an insane feature but it's just going to be something a nice quality of life change that will you know help fix a problem that uh, kind of occurs a bit too much than it should have so it's definitely a great thing and uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested to see this implemented. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for this video. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this system to kind of turn off client side bodies and replace it with a faint operator icon. As always, massive shout out to the members RSA Biggie, Abera, Zerb1234, Joshua Gentry, Jade Jasoy, Amanda Say, Reaper, Dennis Cool, Alonso Martinez, and Zalia Gaming. Guys, have an incredible rest of your day. I hope you all stay safe and you all do well. I love you all. Peace.